in the social media justice system. Ignorance-based offenses are considered especially ludicrous on the enter of the net. The dedicated detectives who investigate these absurdities are members of an elite squad known as the Caught Being Ignorant Unit. These are their stories. Empress, we have a case. Well, lay it on me, detective. Well, I was over at Instagram and, well, I don't think you're going to like this one. Who's the culprit this time? We're calling this the case of the $30 lunch. And there's video footage. <sighs> Another one of those, huh? Well, lay it on me, detective. Brace yourself, Empress. This is gonna get ignorant. Okay, so y'all, story time. So y'all, please tell me if I'm wrong. So today, this dude wrote me on Instagram, and he was like, can I send you money? Let me send you money for lunch. So I was like, okay. I wrote him back, and I was like, send it. So he wrote me and was like, okay, what's your cash app? So I sent him the cash app. Yeah, I just knew I was going to open my cash up and I was going to have at least probably about a hundred ball. You get what I'm saying? Because like this, I eat and that's how much I spend on my food. Yeah, I opened my cash up and this man sent me $30. Wait a second. Let me see if I got this right. So someone offered to pay for her lunch and she's upset because she only got $30. Am I getting this story right, detective? Empress, wait, there's more. Yeah, he's $30. And I'm just like, at first I'm like, damn, like, am I ungrateful? Like, am I fucked up? Like, feeling like, like, why the fuck would you send me $30? But then I had to ask people, and they was like, nah, because I'm like, $30 is not even half a tank in my car. Like, what the fuck you thought I was going to go to Chick-fil-A? Like, I mean, I'm trying to figure out what what, what did you think I was going to eat? It's like, when I go and eat, I eat full course meals. Like, I order a appetizer, a entree, and a dessert, and a drink. That can't even get me two drinks. Like, what the fuck? And then this man had the audacity to write me back and say, uh, let me get to know you. That I, why the fuck do you think I'm gonna let you get to know me? You just give me $30 for lunch. Cause you dumb. I mean, like, that'd be for real. Like, tell me, am I wrong? Like, am I fucked up? Like, is my head fucked up? Like, I don't even spend $30 on lunch on my, like, I spend over that on myself. So it's like, for someone to think they're gonna send me, I get that this is out the account. Like, you didn't have to send the $30, but it's like, no, like, nigga, I'm not that type of, I'm, I'm not, I'm not one of them. Did she really fix her mouth to ask if she's fucked up? Someone was nice enough to send you money for lunch and it... Detective, call the team together. We need to have a debriefing. So are we taking on the case? Absolutely. Make sure everyone in the room has a chair and tell them to scoot up for a second and let's chat. Ladies of the car being ignorant unit, we have a case. This is the case of the $30 lunch. You've all seen the video and I have to say, ignorance like this sets us back as women and we wonder why men are no longer gentlemen. Why they no longer take us out and paint the town red. Why they no longer open car doors and wine us and dine us. Why they no longer treat us like ladies. It's because of women like this. Women who value the almighty dollar more than they value chivalry. Now, I'm not saying she's a gold digger, but if it walks like a duck and quacks like one, well, you know, let the cards fall where they may. According to the video, a man offered to send this girl, because I can't call her a lady, money for lunch. And instead of this delusional dingbat just saying thank you, she gets offended because he didn't send her a hundred dollars. What in the hell does she need a hundred dollars for lunch for? Last I checked, lunch is only an hour if you're working. And who is spending that much money on lunch anyway? No, she wasn't looking for a man. She was looking for a financier. She's looking for a trick. Someone to spend all of their money on her with no expectations of anything in return. Yeah, one of those. She was looking for lunch, dinner, and some extra on the side. Probably looking to add some extra money to the money she probably already received from another simp that easily falls for a big button a smile. And we wonder why men are so quick to call us hoes. It's this behavior. You wonder why you think all men are dogs? 
Well, it's this behavior that creates them. No, we can't continue to talk about the way men dog us, as if there aren't women like this lifting their tails to them. Just like men are dogs, never forget that a bitch is a female version. We're okay when we can get what we want out of them and laugh afterward, but we throw a hissy fit when he pulls the uno reverse and does the same. We can all say it's chestnut checkers and the game is to protect the queen, but always remember, there is no game without a king on the board. Just like without us, they cease to exist. Without them, no one exists. So why not learn how to value each other and be appreciative to each other so we all can exist and build a kingdom because this behavior doesn't build, it destroys. It creates bitter women and angry, vindictive men. And then who benefits? You were offered money for lunch, not life. Be grateful that someone thought enough to send you something to brighten your day, to make it so that you didn't have to come out of your pocket. And if you felt it wasn't enough, send it back. Then she says he wanted to take her out and she said no because he only sent $30. Some of you ladies are gonna miss out on your blessing, miss your knight in shining armor, trying to count his pockets Because when a real man comes to the table, he's going to want you to put something on it besides your looks. It's not always about the money. Sometimes it's just being grateful for the gesture. When did we get like this? When did we get so money hungry that all we care about is how many zeros are attached? When was the last time you sent someone something just because they were on your mind? Or is it all about what someone can do for you? Scoot up. So that's what you spend on yourself. So you spend $100 a day on yourself for food because that's what you're talking about. Food, right? So that's $700 a week, $2,800 a month. Do you have your own house? Do you have your own money invested? Is your bank account triple that? Do you have children? Do they have a college fund? Do you have a rainy day fund? Or are you renting like you expect men to rent you? Real or not, a skit wouldn't exist if the behavior hadn't been exhibited. And why portray yourself as such? Oh, I know, for clicks and views. Because we'll do anything for Cloud, right? So, detectives, you have your notes. Go out and learn gratefulness and appreciation so you won't be devalued by trying to sell yourself to the highest bidder. I expect more out of you, so you should expect more from yourselves. Always remember, if it doesn't cause you to elevate, it's causing you to depreciate. Dismissed.